Oh. Hola. Oh, nice. You started it. I did. And nifty. Are they the kind that scrape off or peel off? Scrape off. Nice. You look at you. You're so ADHD. They're like, looks like super, we... super, 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 super clean. Looks like we just crossed off another one. I'll do it later. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 more juicy content. Thank and on Patreon, Twitter. you know who you are. Hit the like button. And uh, this is a little something I got off the interwebs. It's a uh, hundred. I didn't make it. Somebody did. Someone else made it. Some random thing. I think we've been through about half of them, which is pretty cool. Of their, what they say are the hundred. Is that their it's, list? Of this is just somebody's you... hundred Bollywood movie bucket list. Oh, okay. But I mean, it has stuff I wouldn't put on my bucket list. Right. Um, so it's just a, a random collection of. It's a random collection of collections. And it's only Bollywood. That's if there's it. one of other industries, I couldn't find it. Um, but anyways, today we're doing a movie review. And we are uh, reviewing a film. Yes, because that's what we do when we do a movie review, is unlike most critics who review things other than films. I mean, people do. It's true. Products. Books. Lube. You ever reviewed lube? I've never done it, but my dad has. It used to be big, big Really in big 70s. in the 70s. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why we both thought about the 70s. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, today we we're reviewing Fana. Fana, Fana. Fana. Don't, Don't you wanna, wanna, wanna Fana, Fana. Fana. Uh, the 2006 film. You sure? I don't know. I just oh, wanted okay. to say that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It is. It's 2006. Uh, and it, directed by Kunal Kohli. And I think he wrote the dialogue, and it's also written by Shabani Bhatti. He did the screenplay produced by the. Chopra's the yeah Yash right funny and, um, uh, people and it was uh, starring a tiny little actor at the time named Amir's Khan and remember when we had the Mirror Khan the yeah Cujo oh it's way back Cujo yes Cujo, Cujo. didn't and Stephen King write a book about her no. Cujo and Rishi Kapoor yep and Taboo yeah uh, and so uh, if you haven't seen it obviously it came out in 2006 this is going to be a 100% spoiler review yep pretty sure most if not all of you have seen this film um, so it'll be a 100% spoiler review if you haven't watched it I think was it Amazon did we watch it Amazon we, we saw it on Amazon. Amazon Rick your initial thoughts please my initial thoughts will disappoint those of you who were hoping I would like it I didn't like it okay there you go <laughs> bye everybody <laughs> <laughs> Very insightful. <laughs> Very insightful. Yeah, I, I, uh, there was just so much that, for me, didn't make sense, and I, 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 I just, I never, for all of, Kajol was very cute, and I, I liked her in the role. Um, I just didn't understand a lot of things that happened that really strained credulity for me, and I really had set my brain aside and letting it just be whatever it wants to be but there were just so many things in the storytelling that was not plausible to me or i could empathize with that i just never really got connected or cared or enjoyed mm. uh, and i actually i actually it's the first time i ever saw taboo have a moment that i thought wasn't good when it uh was a moment on the phone i don't remember the exact line but uh, it was the first time I ever I ever saw a moment for her and went, oh wow, that really didn't seem believable. It's the only time that's ever happened to me. Interesting. Yeah. I that part. So yeah, and I'll I'll explain in a little bit more depth why I just don't want to spend the review r railing on a film that I think people nobody ever sets out to purposefully make something that they didn't enjoy. And I know a lot of people really like this movie. So oh well, here we go. I know a lot of people really like the movie, so I, I just I'm not I'm never gonna be dishonest. I'm just gonna give you my my honest I think we're going. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I, I was trying to fix the uh the frame and I, I turned off the camera. Uh um, he just turned it off. He was like hear me talk. Probably. Yeah. No, I, I enjoyed this film. Uh I can obviously I think there's Plenty of things that strain credulity. I'm, I'm not, yeah. especially in the middle part of the film, <laughs> the the whole twist, right? Um, that, but I've seen way worse in Bollywood films. Than oh I've yeah, enjoyed. no, I've, I've seen, seen way worse. A thousand percent worse stuff that like I I I have no like Dawn stuff that happened in Dawn and stuff like that. So I was able to forgive that stuff. I enjoyed the whole 
love oh the love story uh at least uh at the at the the beginning and then the what they did with it towards the end i thought a lot of the performances were really nice and really good really enjoyed cajole in this more serious kind of role uh for her that we I mean, we've seen her in series, but it's usually like half quirky, yeah, half serious, yeah. Because uh, since we've only seen uh, quite a f- uh, only a few uh, films of hers, but no, I d- overall I enjoyed the film. I would watch it again. You uh, would, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, there's, no, I would there's, not. There's, there's films that are <laughs> way worse that I would never ever watch again. That I would not put in the the category you've put it in. Uh, you know, so I, I I we're gonna differ on this one. All right. Yeah. No, I so. You found him likable at the beginning? Uh, like you understood what it would be about him that she would find as likable and you were rooting for their relationship? Yeah. People, people. obviously, <laughs> he was doing stuff that at the time, which uh, happens in like Shah Rukh Khan films and, and other films of that, that, that era of like, oh, you've been a little too forceful there, bro. Like, <laughs> but obviously that's just... What we as a society deemed was okay back then, yeah. and even it happens in Hollywood films too. That I'm like, ooh, a little forward there, yeah. uh, or just his whole <laughs> sure she said, she his whole no. his whole world world view of it's not about feelings, just my needs. And women are cities. I go into a moment, enjoy them, and then I leave. Well, I I'm pretty sure he was trying to not fall in love. I think that yeah. was the that was the point. Is. Well, I also think he was a playboy. I think he, Yo, yeah, he was yeah. a terrorist. He as was well. <laughs> right, exactly. That's the other thing that I. Was, for me, oh, I don't think yeah. like I don't think you're supposed to totally empathize like with him fully. Yeah. I think it's just this. I mean, at, at times I was like, oh yeah, I'm more rooting for Cajole to not get heartbroken, obviously, uh, than I am for the uh, once you finally uh, realize it is the terrorist. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no. Uh, it was um. The beginning, obviously, the first hour was almost the the whole love thing until yeah. you, you finally get a, a little twist yeah. there. Um, and so I, I enjoyed it. I had no idea what that was going to happen. Like when when th- it happened, obviously, she, she got her eyes fixed or whatever. And they brought her. And it was like an hour and change into the film. I'm like, there's no way Amir Khan's dead. Right. That's just not going to happen in, Correct. A, in a Bollywood film in the early 2000s. Right. And so I was like, is he going to fake his death? Is he going to, what have, is it the second half just going to be all cajole? Uh, and then it, my, my least favorite part of the film is when the tonal shift totally changed into obviously Taboo's part and, and the, because then it became Dawn. Yeah, it became a th- the thriller. Obviously, they're setting up why he did what he did, right? Who who he is, and it became this kind of action film. And I'm like, I it's fine. It was like it was fine. That was my least favorite part. I would much prefer the the first and the the second half when it was kind of just the three of them. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I overall, I I, I thought it was good. I thought Amir Khan, uh, it wasn't his best performance. Definitely wasn't his worst performance. Uh, I don't. I don't know, I'm trying to even think of what his worst performance is. Can you think of what his worst performance is? No, you don't like the film, but I don't think you think this is like his worst performance. I, no, I think it's more I, about just the film you didn't connect with. Yeah, no, and I, I it's it's a film I didn't connect with, and I, I, I. Um, when you say Thugs of Hindustan, yeah, I guess so. No, this would be one. This would be my least favorite of his roles. Mm. Um, I just so like there were two aspects of it for me that just eventually got to the point where I was like, it's I just I can't. I can't get into this and believe anything or connect with anything other than Kajol. I believed, and I think we had seen her before in a music number from this, where I, be, I believe she was this. blind. Yeah, I believe yeah. she was blind. And I enjoyed watching her, uh, but there were things that just, the, the consistent straining of credulity combined with me having no understanding about why she cared about him. So the, the straining credulity part for me, I just I had kept having thoughts of, okay, so what are the odds that this would happen? What are the odds that this would happen? Trying to set aside, this is, this is just going to be 2006 Bollywood movie. There were just too many things that happened for me that was like, yeah, what are the odds that that would happen? What are the odds that she would just suddenly have an eye-fixing thing? Why would they immediately, upon the opening of her eyes, send her in to identify something 
like that when they could do a DNA test. Why, what are the odds that she's just playing in the snow and his body of her dad comes underneath the ice while she's there? What are the odds that of all the random places he could fall out of the sky and run, he would be at her house? What are the odds that after being shot and stabbed eight days later, he could run for miles? It just kept going on and on. The larger thing for me for her was, and I, I wrote this down, I said, okay, so let's, let's, let's see. He wasn't for me necessarily very likable to begin with. And then he lies to her, fakes his own death and abandons her because his mission as a terrorist matters more to him than her. Kills her dad. You could say it was an accident, but he's responsible for her dad dying. Betrays her country, yet she hesitates killing him. And when Taboo says, you're the only one who can stop him, her response is, but he's my husband. I, I had a hard time. Why? But he's my husband. He's done all of those things but you're still going to be hesitant to stop him. It just was beyond the pale for me. Love. That's not love. Love. <laughs> That's not love. No, it's love. It's all Brahma Astro. Love wins. Love not always e wins, That's Rick. not even a remotely close. Love always wins. You think that wins. her love for him was a healthy love as it's depicted in that oh, story? I didn't say that. I never said that. <laughs> so you enjoyed the love story? Yeah. You That kind of love. Here's the difference, once again, between you and I. I do not have to like or fully agree with anything in a film to enjoy a film. <laughs> you have a really hard time with that if there's a philo philo <laughs> philosophical difference you have with a film or if like there's a certain type of love that you just you deem you can't relate to because they're awful, uh, which, yeah, I get. It's, it's understandable. I am just not that way. I can appreciate a certain type of film. I think he was, obviously, I kind of knew he was going to die because you can't redeem a terrorist R really for for what he did sure so, can. so mm -hmm, he literally killed a sick man in, in in his booth so he's been doing this a long time yeah so they 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 chalked him up as this really evil person who, who kills people right uh at, at, at the midway point right and so i knew at the end he was gonna die because you, you can have kind of an arc of like yeah, he's going to try to redeem himself, and then, but he still has to die. You can't redeem a terrorist that much. That's like you, somebody fell in love with one of the 9 11 terrorists. <laughs> You're like, in the end, we love him, and he, we're going to live happily ever after. You well, just, she did. You just, she mean, can live happily. He didn't. Obviously, she killed him in the end. Well, yeah, but I mean, she's at his grave at the end, and like, she, she just. Well, you don't think that. No matter, it seemed like no matter what he would have done, it wouldn't have mattered. Well, you know how passionate Shh. Indians are with their love. Shah Rukh Khan's done crazier things in his movies. He's a very passionate man. Yeah. So I guess that's the... That, that what I find strange. Sometimes, because you, you, you never see certain things coming in films, ever. Right? No, you like I, saw, to, I, do, I do. No, I'm not saying not, this one. Yeah, not, but, I'm not saying this one. I'm saying in general, because you, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you like to stay ignorant. I like to stay film. ignorant. Of it, yeah. But sometimes you overthink certain things. Like, in this kind of film, I was like, obviously, I, I completely agree with you that there's so many strange opportunities. Yeah. But we've seen way worse in films that we liked. Oh, I'm not saying this is the worst <laughs> film I've ever seen. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you've liked, really liked films that strain the fuck out of credulity. There are times that that happened, yes. It's just, I, I mean, I I get it. I, I don't but know. there are times that uh, they go too far. I, it doesn't have to always like there is a barometer for me. I can go so far with the straining of credulity. And then if it's not farcical, if they're still trying to make me believe, especially when you have a second half that's seemingly rooted in the dramatic and wanting me to feel this elevated state of danger because this is a real terrorist guy and they're really trying to stop him from getting this trigger. None of that was believable to me. And so at that point, it's well, like... What if they were stormtroopers? And that's why they missed him. <laughs> what if it were stormtroopers? No, because they were like point blank in the thing and he was right down there and they missed him uh, uh, like 10,000 times. Well, yeah, I'm saying, that's, so course. they're stormtroopers. Yeah. They stormtroopers can't yeah. hit anybody. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and okay. it, it may have been better than Phantom Menace, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, which is fine. I don't care if you don't like it or not. That's fine. Um, but the, uh, I, I, I do want to talk about Kajol because I did. I, this, I think it was a really good performance from her, uh, even though we need to see way more of Kajol. I think we've only seen, uh, I guess My Name is Khan would be the first one that we probably saw of hers, right? Yeah, it would be. And that was probably more yeah. dramatic. Oh, 100%. Uh, That's a straight, uh, real story. Um, and then, obviously, we saw all the ones with uh, Shah Rukh Khan in those times. And so that's basically like Kuch Kuch Hai is half quirky, 
cheetah, cheetah. And yeah, then yeah, the second yeah. half is like, and we've talked about how it's amazing how she she can she can pull off. And so I thought she did a really good job. Grounded. I enjoyed Amir. I actually really enjoyed Rishi. Uh, Rishi always comes in, and I think he's a I think he's an underrated dramatic actor um, because ooh, I I thought he was more like kind of just a, a quirky funny guy. Mm. Uh, uh, originally, but I, he uh, he he surprises me often. You know, I, it also wasn't my favorite taboo role. But that was my least favorite part of the. <laughs> yeah, this would be without question my least favorite role. But granted, her she's in. like in a uh, less than a fourth of the film. True, um, and it's just a she's a, a CIA agent, for lack of a better. I don't know what do they call them? CIA and oh the F- F- no F I no 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 the, I forgot there's. Whatever CIA is yeah. in India. She was basically that. Yeah. Uh, somebody trying to stop him. So, yeah, I agree with that. Um, the uh, the songs, I think we, we reacted to about two of them. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed those. Um, but there, I think there were, only about, there were only about four. Yeah, I think there's only like like four songs. Four, four or so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed those parts. Like I said, I... It's, it's like, am I saying this is like an Oscar? No, I'm not saying it's yeah, you an better, Oscar. You better know. <laughs> I, I, am, I am in no way, shape, or form, but in the same way, even though I, I'm not even comparing this to Shah Rukh Khan, because I think a lot of old Shah Rukh Khan films have a lot more over-the-top acting in them and stuff like that that is way more hard for me to, like, what we just saw with uh, Shah Rukh Khan and um, uh, Cal Ho Na Ho. No, I felt, I didn't think any of this, I didn't even think any of the acting was actually over the top. Even in yeah, the no. first half, I didn't think anything Except was over the top. maybe, like, what they were doing with fat. Why yeah, are there the, whole, so, the whole fatty thing. Why are there so many characters named Fatty? Yeah. And is also that the correct translation? And the, and the simultaneous two people saying the same thing at the same time and kind of a uh huh. Yeah, tone. yeah, yeah. That's a very it very was, common. It's very common in that thing. time. I, but the, the the name Fatty, or I don't know if it's a nickname. It's not. You, yeah, it's an insult here. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> I just I I've seen it a few times in old Bollywood films, and I just is that an actual name? Is Fatty an actual name? Or I I think he's calling her like Fatty. This. Gorgeous, not yeah. fat woman. I know. <laughs> so, correct that because I have no clue why they uh, always call the uh, friend is usually the fatty. The friend of the love interest in in the films is usually the f- the one that they call fatty. Um, so that's the only part. But other than that, those were the the things. I do agree. Like I said, the middle of the film is going to be my least favorite because it was just completely different tonal shift. Yeah, uh, I, of the film, and it had almost all. Um, Outside of the the, um, the it had the most straining of Gurudev for him. Yeah, him getting shot a bunch of times and 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 still getting to where he needed to go, getting stabbed. Uh, somebody like a helicopter point blank. He's in the middle of a of a of a of a field, and he's the only yeah dark but, spot on a white yeah. ground. <laughs> once, once again, though, I I don't often uh, critique shooting in films mm-hmm. because I love certain films that have awful shooting. Star Wars. No for one. They can let. It's it's kind of standard fare in a lot of films where the hero's going to the away. hero's going to get away, even the, in a the in hero. A, yeah, even in a place where you're like, there's no way he would have gotten away in real life. But then all of those other things, and in addition into the other things that I had mentioned, mm-hmm. I really just felt like his character was somewhat hollow in terms of we didn't really learn much about him other than his grandfather is like the impetus behind what he does Mm. but other than that i didn't really feel i was waiting and hoping for a reason to empathize with the guy and find a complexity in him Mm -hmm. other than i i guess his naivete that he felt like my grandfather is surely not going to use this trigger it's just a threat otherwise i would never be doing it which i find I, i found that hard to believe i felt like of course you'd be doing this you're a terrorist you I, I just didn't find any redeeming quality for the character, and the only thing I really walked away from it enjoying was Kajol's performance. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but then, yeah, for the rest of it, for me, it was just a no-go in a bunch of ways. Mm. So um, That's two love terror stories that Rick has not liked. What's the other one? Dil Say. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you saw the review on that one. Uh, no, for different reasons on that one. What are the other love terror stories? Because I feel like India does this a lot with terrorists are those the only two yeah and then i get you know 
Sorry, I get in trouble for Lao Sing Chada because I Lao thought they did a Sing. very good job oh, yeah. with that story and taking the whole Funny enough, Captain Dan. That was like my least favorite change in that film. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> I actually found that change to be a very interesting, uh, daring thing for them to try and try and do. I, I didn't fully buy it completely, mm -hmm. but I, I liked it. Wow, Rick like hates that. terrorists. You heard it here first. Yeah, everyone. I do. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't like terrorists. Well, I love. Oh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> Now, I would like to see... I'm trying to think of any films that we have seen. Mm. Um, the first thing that comes to mind, they're not terrorists, but like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, they're bank robbers and you love them. Well, I know our, our dosed Jim. Jim. Mm -hmm. One of his debut films... Um, I forget what it was called. I'm glad bringing him up is interesting. Uh, I forget what it was called, but he plays a terror, like a hijacked terrorist in the film. I think we've wrecked the trailer a long time ago. Um, so I, that's the first one that's coming to mind. I don't know. I think it's more of a strict, this is a terrorist movie, not as not like a big Bollywood romance yeah. uh, film. Um, but yeah, that's... Trying to think of other ones where they would have the terrorist in there. Or even just the, the complexity of the guy or the gal who is the bad guy, but you can understand why the girl or the guy wants to be with them. Like, it, you're, you're at a place where, man, this is, this is more nurture than it is nature, and I think in different circumstances, this person wouldn't have gone down that road, and they realize it, and now they have found the one person that brings the best out in them, but it's too late because they've already sold out to this other evil part of themselves. Mm. I, that's something I could... I, I genuinely not once could understand what it was she saw in him or why she just turned a blind eye to all of those other things I had I had mentioned. I, I, I actually just was in credulity when Taboo was on the phone with her and said, uh, you, you have to stop him. And she said, but he's my husband. And I'm, I, I just, yeah, I just, sorry, y'all. I just, I didn't like it. Well, personally, I wouldn't shoot my husband. <laughs> So there's that. Rick would shoot his husband. You heard it here first. He hates terrorists and he would shoot his husband. Rude. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. Why Rick is an idiot. Why I'm an idiot. What's your opinion of it? Why you hate us both? And, uh, and why else? Proof positive that I don't always lick that Bollywood boot. Wow. Not always. Now the checks from Karen Johar are going to be way less now, Rick. I yeah. hope you know that. That's okay. Enough. As long as he says fine line cocaine. here, not given five fine stars lines. to every Bollywood film. Yeah. Well, didn't pay me enough. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what the next Amir Khan Kajol uh, film uh, should be. Let us know. I think we. I got do they have. How many have they done together? Uh, Who's done more? No, it's. Her and. Her and it's Shah Rukh and her. Okay, well, they've done seven. So how many have Amir and. I don't, her done? I don't think that many. Two. Maybe. I would love to see more Cajole, though, because I do... Cajole's one of my favorite actresses because, in, in terms of just kind of like how I love Shah Rukh Khan, even though I think she's uh, might even be a better actress than Shah Rukh Khan. Um, she just has the quirkiness about her, but she can also bring the emotion yeah. um, really, really well. Uh, she, she can also bring the comedy and the, the quirkiness to her role, which I love. And the more movies you see her in, all she has to do is smile, mm -hmm. and you instantly like her which is why i'd love to see her play an antagonist i'd love to see her play a bad character i think she did because she's so likable i think she did in gupt i think it's what it, G, is it g-u-p-t i think she plays a negative role i'd love that um i don't know how the film is you, I'd guys. Love to, you know what i'd love to see I'm about to say i'd like to see a remake <laughs> i'd like to see a, a movie like raman ragav with kajal and nawaz's role I have a hard time not putting Radhika or... I know, that's the Dilotama that's the one or... you think... Those are the ones you think of. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to see Kajol do that kind of a role. Yeah, she'd probably do well. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what the next for Amir Khan and Kajol in the next just <gasps> wonderful romance film that we could watch. Because Rick now hates romance movies. So we need to get Rick back on the romance train. Hating everything romance. Yeah, you know me. Is that it? Yep. Okay. <laughs>